Yo, what is going on, lads and ladies? Jace game versus Kali today. Question is, is Jace dead? Has this character fallen off a cliff? We're going to be answering that today in this game. It's going to be a live commentary. Try and plan out what we need to do. Let's first off, go through the jungle and the mid laner. So we've got a Kali, pretty aggressive level 1 into hard trading 3 and 6. I want to kind of chill with my first strike. Karthus, full clearing jungler, aggressive Lee Sin. So we need to track Lee Sin. Let's get a ward down at Raptors. Here we go. We can track Lee Sin by his path. Good coverage on the Raptors. We start Q in this matchup. I did go first strike. I didn't want to go Conqueror or Fade Rush. We're just going to try and get as much money as humanly possible. Try to avoid taking any damage if possible. Just going to keep poke. Now the thing you want to do against Akali is tethering. Or baiting, whatever you call it. Is clicking up and down in the range of Akali. Akali's cone range is just here and we just want to walk inside of it and outside of it instantly to bait her to throw it and then once that's down, it's down for three seconds. If she doesn't have any energy it'll be down for quite a lot longer. If she uses it twice it'll be down for eight seconds in terms of getting enough energy back. That's her W down as well. That's a, nearly 20 seconds CD. Very long. Looks like she watered there. We're gonna inform our Carthus. We go E second. We're gonna look to EQ poke or QE. Should be the better combo. Harder to dodge the QE rather than the EQ. Thing about Jace Hammer form is it gives you increased resist and mana back on autos. So you want to be switching to your hammer form when you can't be harassed to get mana back and then if you are being harassed and you can't deal damage back with range form hammer form is your go-to yeah, it crashed in at just before cannon try and get as many minions as we can missed a couple, that's fine, Karthus is invaded See if we can go and assist. Nice, well played. Arkali has gone straight bot lane. Not something you see every day. We'll try and chop in mid. Kali did not. Kali TP down. Definitely a strange roam. Worked out in the end for her. She didn't get a kill or anything, so she lost an entire wave and her teleport. We'll try and abuse that fact. Lisa no flash. He'll be on his bot side camps now. We're not in a rush or a hurry to speed up the early game. We are Jace. Once we have that two item power spike, we're huge. So we're just going to play around our Carthus. play together, I'm going to push Kali back and then aim the Lee Sin. Hits a couple more Qs would be nice. Alright, one for one. back end of the queue. I do have the teleport advantage, so we want to get that down. Oh, really close. Alright, well she used her Q and her E. She won't have enough wave clear to clear this back line in time as I TP. So we're going to TP back, go straight for the Eclipse. See, so look at this wave state. Kali doesn't have enough wave clear to clear this, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm not going to insta-clear it. We're going to use our fundamentals. We're going to have her minions 
kill my minions. Try and cancel a recall. This cannon is sticking onto me like peanut butter. Alright. A little bit unfortunate with the cannon that we dragged. But you'll lose cannon anyway. It instead of a freeze, it turned into a slow push. Maybe we can use that as a positive for grubs with Karthus here. She'll get six soon, so let's try and harass her while we can. Nice. She got a little bit discombobulated with the uh, hammer slam. Got it a half, but she got back to lane, which is a big deal. Well, a half, but. Hit the EQ. Nice. And Karthus hit the rest. That's big. Playing through our jungler. And using our moves correctly. Just chill up a bit. I think I'm gonna hold this wave for a second. Don't really want that Akali roaming, so I'm gonna force a freeze here. Also, maybe just stay and come back. You don't always have to use freezes to... Let's back up here, she could definitely ult me. You don't have to use freezes just to gain money and XP. You can also use it to pull back your lane opponents from roaming. If she doesn't think the roam is as valuable as breaking the freeze, she won't do it. Do the roam. And I don't really want her to roam. I want to keep mid lane very chill. She does have a lot of damage, so I really don't want to go for anything too crazy. Nice, got the bait out. We'll try and tether as best we can. Nice, good QE. Something you want to do on if you're going to pray Jax in your next game is practice your EQs in practice tool. It's not the easiest ability to aim and I sure was not very good at it. I'm just going to hammer smack her away. Dodge the second part of the ult, and she did. Not the smartest thing for me to walk up, but I knew enough of Akali to know her movement, so it was kind of chill. Once I smacked Akali out of my melee range, the only possible way she was going to get on top of me was to R2 instantly directly in front of me, so I sidestepped to the right as I knocked her back, avoiding the damage, securing the kill. Even if I didn't dodge it, I would have had my Q to slow her and it would have been a one for one. So yeah, a little bit of just a mechanical... Was it a mechanical difference or was it more of a prediction? I think it was a prediction, more of a prediction dodge kind of deal, other than your mechanics. A little bit of spacing there. Dodge both her Qs. Gonna fire away some autos. Should be able to kill her here actually. Yeah. Don't know what she's doing but she missed two Qs. I have Eclipse. She has, I looked at her items. She only has boots and half an item. I do a shit ton of damage now. That's what we're playing for. We played safe in the early game. Now we're chilling. Lee Sin is coming. Should be able to just walk out of here. Interesting combo there from the Lee. Unfortunate. She is ultimate. Just gonna space out of that. Pretty sure that was a miss that was a mistake there. You should never Akali ultimate was definitely up. If she clicked on it, I died. So uh, I'm very glad I insta flashed that. Don't want to take any chances. I killed the Lee Sin and I, instead of t taking a good reset while the Akali was coming back, I autopiloted a little bit, walked towards the turret and I wasn't able to get a plate or anything, so it was definitely a bad move. Nearly got punished for it, but my reactions saved me pretty dearly. There's the TP, we're going to ping that. We have TP in 5 seconds, let's try and clear out this wave. Keep a little bit of vision on the bot lane. Is it worth TPing over hitting plates? 
Is it... I'm going to say no. I don't think we can save this Garthus here. He's Oom. Um. Bessie gets a 1 for 1. He doesn't. And guess what we get? Two blades. Because we have Grubs. We have... Shit ton of damage. Lucian just dash. That's on cooldown. Let's poke him out. He's dead to Carthus and Senna. Huge. Whoop, failed the EQ there. Potentially got the uh, Jana the 1 HP or... No, I don't, I don't think it would have killed her. Alright, we're doing well. We snowballed on the Jace. Let's try and end the game with this lead. It's going to be the challenging part against an Akali. Nice EQ. Getting a lot of good first strikes. So now 70 gold in the pocket. I think first strike might be the best rune on Jace. Could be wrong. But I enjoy the playstyle. Chill in the other game. And start EQ spa Q QE spamming. Should be QE. You say EQ, but it's definitely QE. You should always throw your Q and then throw out your E. It can be instantly after or just a little bit delaying. But I think it's way better to do that combo first. Okay, Lee Sin is skyrocketing his death. I'm gonna fight this guy. Dodge Z. He should jump away. He's gonna jump up. We're gonna ping on my way. We're gonna cut off him his route to the turret. Go for another poke there. He's gonna kill the minions on his way out. We're gonna do the same thing. Can't get that melee, unfortunately. So I'm gonna chase him down. Try and zone him off the turret here. There he is. I didn't actually know if Akali was in that bush, but she was really close to it, so cancelled her recall. Now it forces her to stay here to protect this turret, which means I can kill her. Or, this also delays her tempo, by the way, for the next play. And I get first turret. Now I gotta watch out for Lee Sin, that's the only issue here. Can harass her down from turret. This is really bad for her. Nice, dies the Carthus. All close to dying Carthus. That's unfortunate, Jana came and saved her. But if Jana is using her ult to save this guy, then she's not using a save her ADC, right? Keep harassing this guy. This guy's just dead now. I'm gonna hold a hammer form for a little bit longer. Oh, I think I've perished. I could have pinged a little bit harder for Sentinel to shield me, but he's in combat, so that wasn't going to happen. Dying to a Janna and giving her a shutdown, I would say not the worst scenario to happen. I don't think Janna can capitalize off the 800 gold I gave her as hard as champion like Akali or Lee Sin or Lucian. Lucian definitely the worst, as he's kind of like the fittest member on the enemy team. So I would say that's a big win. Gave the bounty to someone who can't utilize it properly. Properly or efficiently? Probably efficiently is better wording. Now we want the ADC to go mid. I'm going to go bot. Make sure that's very clear. Communication. Super underrated, guys. If you are going to swap positions, you need to ping on them and then where to go and then ping on yourself on my way. Very clear with what you're going to do. Otherwise, you're going to steal each other's CS. Everyone's going to get angry. And you're going to have to cop the L and give a wave because your ADC wanted a wave. And all the other scenario where you took the wave and now he's AFK. You've lost some LP. We're going to do a bit of a cheese on the Kali here. Could run straight to mid. Interesting if the Kali does. I'm just going to show now. Looks like a Kali is running straight to mid. Guy does not give a fuck about any waves. Hello. Interesting. Kali definitely skipped the Rufury Fundamentals Guide. 
that I haven't posted yet because we are still in the cook on that. So once I get that down, this Akali should be being chilling. But number one priority for laners, wave before play. Grab a wave. Same thing with junglers, honestly, if you're a jungle player or you've played jungle, or it's your secondary role. Take a camp before you do a play, or look at a play. Just like uh, the uh, Gurun playstyle. Rank 1 Korean, first western to hit rank 1 Korea. Always prioritize the 100% play, which was the camps. We're just scouting for the Lee Sin. We don't want to chase him too far. Seems like he's out of there. Now, Kali looks to be a little bit tilted as we move further into the game. Make sure to just dodge and weave here. Let's move on with the Karthus. Let's, let's regroup with the teammates. Get some damage down. Protect this vision. Let nothing for free. Alright. Let's move on top lane here. Push the rifts into the turret. Try and nuke the turret before we rift. Try and knock the Lee in free place for a kick. Space the Mundo out best I can here. He doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but he's a tanky boy. Well, that was a bit. Whoa! There's no minions here. Alright, I'm getting a bit low. I think it's time to back. Well, that was an uh, interaction well. Okay. You know, it happens to the best of us. We uh, see a Janna, and we're just like, yeah, I want to kill that guy. He, remember, he killed me over here in this alcove by myself, bleeding to death in a corner. I want to do the same thing to him. And then the Akali appeared. Tried to knock her away, but it didn't work. But yeah, I think Jace is not in the greatest spot right now compared to previous times. But I don't think he's a dead champion. So the question, the title of this video is, is Jace a dead champion? And I would say, I would say, not yet. Utilize him in your games. If you've got an AP jungler or an AP bot lane, Vaga ADC, Karthus jungle, Karthus ADC, Swain, not Swain jungle, obviously. I mean, look, I'll be honest, I've seen some of your guys' games. You probably are getting the fucking Swain jungles. Nice. Alright, let's... Keep on pushing. If you're looking for Jace mechanic guides, probably won't be this game. I can probably chuck out a short for you, but I do recommend just chucking a Google on YouTube because that's where I found my information. What's the best combo for the ranged part of Jace? What's the best combo for close quarters? Etc. Etc. Now, Baron's still 15 seconds. Let's continuously put pressure on the enemy here. Put as much pressure as we can, and then we'll rotate into the objective. Rotation is just the fancy word for moving around the map. It's what us gamer, uh, pro gamers like to call. I don't know why I did that voice, it's real. Holy mackerel. Look how much gold that gives. Each person. That did the Baron. Well, doesn't he have to do the Baron? You just get three. Each player gets three hundred gold. And any quick mathers in the chat? Three times five. Oh, three hundred times five. Jeez. Look, here's my Edge Knight. 
think it's that guy's HP bar. Kylie's looking for a flank, we're gonna spot her out here. Lee Sin's also looking for a flank. Oh, that guy's dead. Bop. He's dead. ADC's down. I don't think I'm gonna get range to the Janus, so we're just gonna hit both of these. Inhibitors, crash all the minions. Dilution of one. Oh, a flash on the spot. <laughs> Not the cleanest end I've ever done. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Haha, I will pretend I didn't see the chase flash. <laughs> OC Jace was OC Lee Sin. Too real. Too real. Alright. Let's end this game. Enough tomfoolery. We're gonna TP mid lane. And we're gonna kill people. We've got the items, we've scaled up, we took their base. There's literally nothing else to take but the Nexus. And that will end the screen game. So let's go do it. Nothing to fear but fear itself. Nice. So GD. And that's Jace vs. Kali. Is Jace dead? Don't think so. See you next time, lads. Let's go!